Anim Buju band members. Today is Friday, November 13th. I would like to start out uh, with a shout out and a big Chi Mi Guich to uh, Corporate Ventures and the district reps for the pies and the bags of groceries and that huge turkey. So thank you very much. Um, would like to also talk a little bit about the COVID updates for the counties. Uh, Aiken County yesterday, it was 396. Today is 418. Crow Wing yesterday was 2,100. And today it's 2,211. Mille Lacs, 934 yesterday and today 967. And then yesterday in Pine County, 838 and today is 858. One of the things I didn't mention along with that, there's, um, they're looking at the percentage of the positivity rate is what they're calling that. And so um, Aiken has uh, the rate of positivity rate of 7.8, Crow Wing 5.6, Mille Lacs 12% and then Pine County 7.5. So what they're saying, if anything's above 5%, which each one of these counties are very high, that that means that the virus has met a level of very high concern. So that's something that we follow and we've been paying attention. And so as of yesterday, the tribal Emergency Response Committee held an emergency meeting just based on these statistics and felt that it was time to transition the government operations to a virtual service delivery for all banned government health and education services that can be delivered in a virtual environment. And uh, because of these high rates, it thought it was very important now we put the measures back in place to protect band members and employees from the spread of the COVID-19. And a letter went out. So many of you may receive the letter tomorrow or Monday, and it's going to all the heads of households with a full explanation. And so some of the um, issues that you may be concerned about that we want to make sure that all the critical services for band members will be continued to be provided. The Niashin Clinic, um, Health and Human Services, and ANGI programs, those will continue to operate. And of course, the snow plows and the garbage service will also continue. Uh, tribal court will be done virtually, and tribal police will still be patrolling the roads and staff will continue to provide services online by phone and by appointment. And a list of all of those uh, numbers are on Facebook and they will also be mailed to all of the households. And um, of course, the entry to all of the ban buildings will be restricted. And again, these functions will be done online by phone and by appointment. And um, so early education and K-12 Mille Lacs Bent education programs will move to all distant learning. And I know the, the students, the kids will be very disappointed because they're very happy to be in school. Daycare services will be closed. And for employees, who are able to do their functions remotely, that will happen. And uh, housing maintenance will continue on an emergency basis only, such as heating, water, and wastewater issues. So we understand that this is gonna be hard for a lot of our band members again, um, going through this. But with so many of our band members, family members, and employees, now in quarantine and many being positive, we have to take these necessary precautions again to control the outbreak. So if you have any health concerns, please call the nursing number 320-630-0855. And if you 
are asked to be tested for COVID, please take the test. And also, if you're asked to be self-quarantined, will you please do that as well? We're in a very dangerous time and they're talking about the virus vaccine will not be available until at least February. So we have a long winter yet to fight this virus. So with all of us following the precautions, we can limit the number of people that contact this COVID-19. It's um, again, the governor is talking about this uh, today, again on the news channels and um, this alarming rate that's in uh, Minnesota is something that we all have to be concerned about. And um, so please wear your mask, social distancing and washing of your hands. And with that, uh, look for your letter and there will be more specific on how we want to move forward with these new alarming COVID positive cases. With that, stay safe, stay home, and I will talk to you soon. Miigwech.